welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. And thank you to those of you who have supported my channel by liking and subscribing. Your support allows me to continue to bring you fountain pen reviews as I'm unsponsored on this channel, so thanks. Today we're going to examine why I think this fountain pen is the best fountain pen in the world. This is the Pen BBS 308. Why is it the best fountain pen in the world, in my opinion? Is it the most beautiful? most expensive, the rarest, the most celebrated? Is it a numbered limited edition? Is it solid gold, platinum, or palladium? Is it named after a famous author? Or does it have snakes and spiders crawling all over it? Is it made in Italy, Germany, Japan, or France? Is it the best writing, most comfortable, and pleasing fountain pen on the planet? The answer to all your stupid questions is no. So stupid! So stupid! So stupid. It's not any of those things, but I still think it's the best fountain pen in the world and find out why right now. So this is not a review. This is an opinion and opinions are like, what's beautiful? That's not how you say it. Yeah, I've heard of butol. It's some kind of alternative fuel. You're ruining a smart joke. Everyone's got one. I don't expect everyone's opinion to match mine. In fact, I don't expect anyone's opinion to match mine. There's one dude that spends his Wednesdays and Saturdays clicking on the thumbs down icon on my videos. I'd like to get that number of thumbs down, if you'll pardon the expression, up. And if there's one thing I know for sure, can't let it get you. You should excuse the expression down. Think, worry, mm, piss off. And then, before you know it, you are impudent. What's with the soap? Every thumb down is an upvote for me. What's the best way to get my thumbs down numbers up? Tell people my pen choice is better than your pen choice. So here it is. The Pen BBS 308 is simply the best fountain pen on the market in the world today. Period. Full stop. I said it. Do I care if you agree with me? Nope. 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 But I will tell you why I think this is so. And to be clear, I have many pens that I like better than the Pen BBS 308. I love my 308, but as to Pen BBS pens, I like the 456 the best. And I like my 355s and my 480s better than the 308. And the top pens on my best pens for me list don't include a 308. Let me explain. I think the 308 is the best bang for the buck fountain pen in the world. This may seem a bit counterintuitive to you, but let me give you another example. This time in an area I do feel like I'm much more of an expert than in fountain pens. To be clear, I'm no expert in fountain pens, but acoustic guitars, I have 50 years of playing and buying experience. This is one of the finest guitars ever made. It is a 2012 75th anniversary Gibson J200 Golden Age acoustic guitar. Only 75 of these were made. It is simply the best acoustic guitar I've ever owned or played in my life. Is it the best acoustic guitar in the world on the market today? No, it isn't. This guitar was $8,000 brand new. Now, I didn't pay that price, but it's still the most expensive guitar in my collection. Okay, you may well ask, what is the best guitar in the world on the market today? When you factor in price, performance, quality, availability, and variety, my opinion is that the Yamaha FG800 series is the best guitar on the market in the world today. Are there cheaper Yamaha acoustics? Yes. Are there more expensive Yamaha acoustics with finer appointments and features? Yes. But pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the Yamaha FG800 series is the best acoustic guitar for the buck on the planet, in my opinion. There are a nice variety of colors and finishes. It has a solid spruce top and is built incredibly well and will last a lifetime. As a guitar player, you might grow out of this, but this is a great place to start. It's the same thing with fountain pens. Are there more expensive Pen BBS pens 
with prettier acrylics and cool features? Yes. But pound for pound, dollar for dollar, I believe that the Pen BBS 308 is the best fountain pen for the buck on the planet. And I will show you the criteria by which I formed that opinion. First is price. I consider any fountain pen over $50 to be expensive. At that price level and up, you aren't just looking at a writing tool, you are looking at a writing experience. At $20 and under, you're looking at a writing tool and the writing experience is almost secondary. And the Pen BBS 308 in the base finishes is $15.98. I'll repeat that in case you thought I said $50.98. I said $15.98 US. One more time, $15.98 US. Now what do you get for your $15.98 with a 308 compared to other pens of the same price range? Well, I'm glad you asked that, because I've made a spreadsheet. Oh, boy. What on earth do we need a computer for? I could use a spreadsheet program to keep track of your expenses. I do that in the back of my checkbook. Yes, but does your checkbook go beep when you open it? To compare fountain pens under $20 US using the following criteria. Here's my spreadsheet. Screw cap. Does the pen have a screw on cap? Nib size. What is the size of the nib, and is that nib swappable? Converter. Is that converter included? ED. Is the pen eyedropper convertible? Material. Is the pen made of injection molded plastic, metal, or turned acrylic? Colors. How many colors are available? And of course, price. I'm comparing fountain pens that are under $20 and not less than $10 US. That will weed out the disposable and discardable fountain pens. Here are the pens that I've compared. I've taken the data from jetpens.com because they have a terrific filtering system on their website. And they have a huge range of brands available, including Moonman. And I'm adding one more brand that JetPens doesn't sell, and that's Jinhao. Goulet Pens does sell the Jinhao 51A, X450, X750, and 159 models, which I think are terrific values as well. So I'm going to add them to the chart. I have 12 pens on the chart and I'm highlighting the pen BBS in pink. Alphabetically, the 12 pens are the J Urban Demonstrator is an injection molded clear plastic pen with a number five size non-removable nib, no included converter, and is $15.50 US. The Jinhao X450 is a metal pen with a number six size swappable nib and comes in six finishes for $10 US. The Jinhao X750 is almost the same pen as the X450, but without the tripod grip and has the number six size Jinhao swappable nib, comes in seven finishes for $12.50 US. The Jinhao 159 is a large metal pen that shares the same swappable number six size steel nib with the X450 and the X750 and comes in seven colors for $12.50 US. These Jin Hao's are probably the best fountain pen tinkerer's pens as they lend themselves to experimentation. The Caveco Perkeo is a light injection molded pen with a non-swappable number five size steel nib that comes in four colors without a converter for $16 US. The Moonman 80 is a light injection molded pen, which is a clone of the Parker 45. Now, Jet Pen says that the nibs aren't swappable, but they are exact duplicates of the Parker 45 nib units, and they swap perfectly. It comes in three colors, with a converter included, and there's also a mini size for $19.50. The Online Slope is an injection molded pen with a non-swappable number five size steel nib, which comes in five colors without a converter, but can be eyedroppered for $19. The Pelican Pelicano Jr. is an injection molded pen that doesn't come with a converter, but can be converted into an eyedropper and comes in three colors for $19. The Pilot Kakuno is injection molded plastic, has a non-swappable number five size steel nib, comes in 11 colors without a converter, but can be converted to an eyedropper and is $12.50. The Platinum Provante is injection molded with a number five size steel nib that is swappable regardless of what JetPen says between the Preppy 
and the Prefonte. It comes without a converter in four colors and for ten dollars. The Platinum Plaisir is a metal jacketed injection molded plastic pen that is an upscale Prefonte and has the same number five size swappable nib. It comes in nine colors without a converter for sixteen dollars and fifty cents. I left the pen BBS 308 for last. It is a turned acrylic fountain pen with a screw cap. A swappable number six size steel nib is available in 57 different incredible acrylic colors. Let me repeat that. 57 different acrylic colors it is already prepared with a silicone o-ring to be used as an eyedropper but comes with an included cartridge converter and the basic clear colors are $15.98 US. Yes, the other finishes will cost you more, but look at the range and incredible quality of the acrylic materials. And the sections are the same turned acrylic. The caps have a ledge milled into them to act as a cap seal. The pen is balanced in the hand, posted and unposted. The clips are good looking and functional and the hardware comes in gold and silver versions. The nibs are available in XF, F and medium and you can swap in another number six size nib if you like. Now let me speak to nib swapping for a moment. One of the knocks against the 308 model is that the cap clearance is very small for swapping in other nibs. However, here are some of the nibs that have been reported to fit into the 308. Levenger, Nemocene or Nemocine, depending on whether you say diamine or diamine, Goulet Extra Fine, which is a Yovo nib, a Franklin Christoph Music nib, Jinhao number no. six, though results seem to be varied with the Jinhao number no. six, and Bach. It seems that the Pen BBS nib is a little shorter than the standard number no. six size steel nibs. Keep in mind that the number six size has to do with the width of the feed at the base here, not the length or the width of the nib. Pen BBS nibs are 34 millimeters in length and many number six size replacements are 35 and even 35 and a half millimeters in length. Some people have found that grinding off a millimeter of the tail of a number six nib will allow it to fit into a 308. Others have said that the smaller tipping material on the replacement nib or if it is a stub, uh, it will fit into the 308. So your mileage may vary, but it's possible to change out these nibs. Other Pen BBS models lend themselves more easily to nib swapping, like this 480 has much more cap clearance in it, as does the 456. So here are the Pen BBS 308s that are in my house. One of these is Wins. My first 308 was this one in cedar finish. I think it's gorgeous with this gold hardware and matching gold nib. My second was this amber as a cat with its paw print fine nib. The paw prints are only on the amber as a cat finishes. Then there is this translucent blue infinite with gold trim and another gold nib. Again, that's gold colored. Don't be fooled. For $20, you're not going to get a gold nib, just to be clear. And then my two galaxies. Galaxy is my favorite finish. One with gold trim and one with silver trim, which was a gift from Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. And here is Wins 308 in what Pen BBS called Milky White. I think the name loses something in translation because this is more like alabaster than anything milky. I think it stands up against this $250 Leonardo Ferrari salt and this 308 here was $21.99. I know I've asked this before in videos, but it bears repeating. Can anyone suggest to me a fountain pen on the market today in this price range with these turned acrylics swappable number six steel nibs, eyedropper ready, converter included, and made with this kind of a quality? 308s range in price from $15.99 
for the transparent colors to $38.98 for this much more rare Amber is a Cat. One downside, however, is availability. Many people comment that they can't find these pens for sale, and that's because of the nature of Pen BBS as a pen maker. They are fountain pen lovers who make pens for fountain pen lovers. They aren't a huge company like Hero, Wingsong, or Jin Hao, cranking out thousands of units. They make pens in small batches in the hundreds instead of the thousands. At any one time, Pen BBS might be making a batch of one model only. Say, for the next six weeks, Long is just making four, five, six pens in a variety of acrylics, depending on his stock and supply of acrylics. When that batch is done, there might not be another run of the 456 model for up to a year or even 18 months later. And when they are available, there might only be 100 for sale on Etsy. So if you aren't quick, you'll miss them and have to wait another 18 months or so or pay some huge markup prices on eBay. So the finer and more rare the finishes, like Amber, Galaxy, Tootsie, and Cedar, are much harder to get. You have to be vigilant and stay connected. Watching Bai Ni Jing on Instagram is a good place to start to see what is coming. This is a 323, by the way, not a 308 in Tootsie. Isn't that amazing? However, there are always some 308 models available on the official Pen BBS Etsy store. As I write this, there are currently eight different finishes and nib combinations ranging from $15.99 to $31.99 US. Look at this 308 in the finish snow. It even has a cool snowflake nib. That acrylic can stand next to this Leonardo Salt acrylic in a blind test. I don't mean you can't see it. I mean if you hide the branding and just look at the acrylic itself. What's more, if you see a finish you like, but it has a nib you don't like, you can buy these Pen BBS nib charms for the ridiculous price of $5 US. The nib charms are popular, as you might imagine, as they come and go very quickly. And those who poo-poo fountain pen companies that don't make pens with gold nibs, that might be changing for Pen BBS very soon. Here is an image by Jialong Su, the head of Pen BBS, from his Instagram just last week. It shows they are beginning production of their own Pen BBS 14K gold nibs. I'm sure these pens will not be in the $15 to $40 price range, but it does show that Pen BBS is a vital pen company on the move. And Pen BBS won't be the first Chinese brand entering into the gold nib territory. There have been a number of Chinese fountain pens available with gold nibs for quite a while, most notably Hero. I've held off buying what I thought would be a very overpriced pen with a questionable quality gold nib until this. I just received this new model Wingsung 628 14 karat gold nib pen that is the spitting image of a very familiar pen. Yep, you guessed it. It looks like the Sailor 1911, doesn't it? I'll be reviewing this pen this coming Saturday, but I will say that I wasn't expecting much even though this pen was over a hundred dollars and I've ended up being very surprised by it. And there you have it. Please don't hesitate to unlike this video if you think I'm full of it. But have some courage as well. Tell me in the comments why you think I'm wrong about the 308 being the best bang for the buck fountain pen on the market. Give me some examples of fountain pens in the 16 to 40 dollar range that have the quality, variety, and features that this pen has. One example will do. I've yet to hear one example. Of course, if you don't like acrylic pens and instead you like metal, ebonite, wood, steel, aluminum, brass, or injection molded precious resin, that's great. But show me a pen maker that has 57 different finishes and 17 different models in this price range. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. I made this.